In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the GIF exporter inside of AE Juice and Adobe After Effects. So let's get into it. So we're inside of the AE Juice Pack Manager and before we can export something, we need to actually add in some animation into After Effects. So in this example, I'm gonna go into Animated Emoji. There we go. And let's go for this gadget computer. So we'll just import this into our composition inside of Adobe After Effects. So I'm just going to double click that and import that into After Effects. And as you can see, we've just got this laptop animation sitting in the middle of our composition. This looks great. So in order to export this as a GIF from After Effects, we first just want to go into Window, go down to AE Juice GIF at the very bottom of this menu, and that will load up this new menu. So we can either dock this or undock this. It's completely up to you. So I'm just going to drag this up here on the left just to keep this up here. Or alternatively, you can just undock this and leave this floating around like this. Now we've got render, but before we press render, we want to go into settings. This third button here is going to show you more products from AE Juice 4, but we'll just go into the settings because that is the most important button here. So select that gear icon, that settings icon, and you can see we've got two windows. We've got basic and we've got advanced. I'm going to focus on the basic window for now, but I'll briefly show you the advanced window in a moment. So you can see we can either render out the compositions, folders, presets, videos, AE viewer. I'm just going to select compositions. You've got render settings. So generally keep this as best settings. The output module is GIF alpha by default. So GIF alpha is going to render this out with the alpha channel. So if I close this down, if I toggle the transparency grid on this layer, you can see because there's no background, this is actually on a transparent background. So if we go back into that settings option, you can see GIF and alpha, the alpha is going to be that transparent layer. So we're going to export that on a transparent background. Of course, though, if you select lost the slow, then that will export that with a background. But GIF alpha is the option I would suggest. Then you can either set this export to go to your project folder or your custom folder. So I'm just going to leave this on the desktop. Then you've got render work area only. And if I close this option down, the work area only section is related to this option here. So if I only wanted to export these two seconds, then I would just close this down like this. So maybe we just want it to just do this section. So as it goes back to here. So if we go back into the settings, we can go render work area only. And that would just be these three seconds or we could render the length of composition. So we can render this entire 10 second composition. Then you could put render active comp. So that is the one that we're currently in. You can resize to a new width if you wanted to. So this composition is 1920 by 1080, which is a bit big for a GIF. So you can resize this to 640 to be a bit more manageable. Then we can just go down to change FPS. So we can keep the frame rate as our current frame rate by selecting same or we can change this to a different frame rate. Then we've got the loop GIF, and this one's quite important. So if you select don't loop, then it will only play three seconds and it will freeze frame. If you do one loop, then it will play the video twice. If you loop it twice, it will play three times in total. So if you just select forever, then it just means it will constantly just loop and that GIF won't ever freeze frame. It will just keep animating over time. Then if you put save video file, that will save that as more of a traditional video file, but we want a GIF in this example. So keep that unchecked. And then we can just press close. Or alternatively, we can go into the advanced window and we can go into these advanced settings. So you've got color depth, dithering, stats mode, Bayer scale, diff mode group, then you've got a uh, need to help with this settings button and that will take you to an article explaining what everything is but as you can see this does look quite complicated so let's ignore that for now then you've got use default css customize css use own css code again this is very complex so let's go back to basic we'll close this down and once you're happy with all of those settings you just want to press the render button and as you can see after effects is just rendering that out you've heard the sound that has now exported and you can see we've got comp one GIF now playing there. Now I'm working on a Mac here, and this means I'm using Mac OS. And when I double click this from the finder, it actually comes up like this. It doesn't play as a video. It gives me all of these individual image files. So if I right click and select open with Google Chrome, that is now going to play as that GIF. Of course, though, if you upload this image file, so this comp one GIF to a website or an article or something, then it will play 
as that constant looping GIF. But there you go. That is how you export your GIFs from Adobe After Effects using the really simple AEJuice GIF exporter.